She is 11, she is 12, she is 13 years old. Barely old enough to understand what menstruation is. She is bleeding, losing over a liter of blood in a week. 25 times the average amount a woman should. She misses days of school at a time due to pain uncomprehensible to most. She's rolled up in bed with a fever of 40 degrees Celsius, unable to walk or eat. She begs her mom to do something, desperate for someone to take away the pain. But don't worry about her. Pain is normal. She's just becoming a woman, and she should be proud of her period and embrace it, right? This girl is me. Hi. My name is Stella Worthington, I'm 14 years old, and one year ago I was diagnosed with adenomyosis, a chronic reproductive illness that causes inflammation throughout the body. Thankfully, I am so much better now, due to my fortunate position to have parents who could afford the nutritionists and doctors who helped me to reverse and minimize my symptoms, but that's not the case for everyone. This is due to something called period poverty. If you haven't heard that term, it means to lack access to affordable and safe menstrual products, reproductive education, and sanitation facilities. A girl living in period poverty will miss an average of 24 days of school per year, significantly impacting her education, and 80% of women in Indonesia are at risk of falling into period poverty. However, it's not just an issue here. 500 million women are struggling in period poverty globally. To put that into context, that is one eighth of women on earth, and yet this issue is constantly overlooked and considered insignificant. Periods are a part of life. However, these shocking statistics and my own terrible experiences with menstruation have led me to choose period poverty in Bali as the topic of my Green School Capstone project. For the last six months, I've been working with Perfect Fit a female-run Bali-based business dedicated to empowering and educating local women in their community. I am collaborating with them now to raise 250 million rupees so we can provide 1,000 young girls with reusable sanitary pads and menstrual education. We would love you to contribute, so please click the link in this video, and I'd like to thank you all in advance for making a significant difference and changing 1,000 girls' lives for the better. Thank you.